Welcome to the 12 o'clock news, your midnight news. I'm Bob. And I'm Larry. And uh, we're, we're, we're a little late, uh, so it's supposed to be the, the midnight news, but as you can see, uh, <laughs> not really midnight. <laughs> it's morning. <laughs> we're a few hours late to the uh, studio. I'm just going to overslept a little bit, so. A few moments later. Pre-show warm-up. Welcome to the pre-show warm-up. Pre-show warm-up. I said it three times already because it's a pre-show warm-up and I'm warming up my uh, blah, 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 these things. Articulators. Words, words and things and stuff. Things and stuff. Sir, sir, welcome to the pre-show warm-up. There it is again. <coughs> I've got Bob here and uh, I'll be saying the warm-up first. Bob, repeat after me. Um, but this is how we always do it because I was the first one to get to the gas station in 1935. So... I got there in 1937. Yes, so if I got there first, then I go first on the warm-ups. But he loved repeating after me anyway because that's what he does in life. <laughs> that is what I do. <laughs> Are you ready, Bob? That was what he's all ready. Yeah, uh, well, that's how it always is, right? Am I right? Ah, here right. we go. Medium crop plot blueprint. Medium crop plot blueprint. Purple pickle knuckle tentacle. Purple pickle knuckle tentacle. Yeah, very good, very good. <laughs> <laughs> We usually do a countdown off camera, but he didn't do the countdown, he just came right in. So I... Okay, anyways. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm smiling. We're not, we're, we're formally stupid. Hello and welcome to the news, you're midnight. <laughs> <laughs> that was right, almost. Welcome to the Midnight News, your 12 o'clock news. I'm Bob. And I'm Larry. And as you can see, we have a little bit of a different setting for you today. We actually have changed locations. Yes, uh, the camera may or may not have uh, spontaneously caught on fire. So we've, we've learned that never try to use firecrackers indoors, especially near technical equipment. Especially while playing with tuba. That can exactly. be quite dangerous. A few moments later! So for you today, we've got some... <laughs> we have some very interesting news for you today. Why don't you tell them about it, Larry? Well, it turns out smart butter does not actually make you smarter. I've been drinking it for 10 years and I still can't add 2 plus 2. So, now that uh, we found that out, our sponsor here, Glacier Clear. Uh, just kidding, they're not our sponsor. Please, please sponsor us. Anyways, uh, Glacier Clear, purified drinking water, is the way to go now. In fact, the bottle is even made especially... Especially well. <laughs> Alright, so for today. Hold on, I'm still smiling. Welcome to the Midnight News, your 12 o'clock news. I'm Larry. And I'm. Dang it. <laughs> Welcome to the Midnight News, your 12 o'clock news. I'm Bob. And I'm Larry. Today we'll be discussing a new movement. Um, actually two new movements. The first, as I'm demonstrating here, is called the Thug Life Movement. Uh, and the one thing that you're not allowed to do is this. Because that's old teacher movement. Uh, there is no old teacher movement, therefore it's out of style. Now, uh, Bob here is demonstrating the millennial movement, uh, or more actually it's a generation really, but it's also a personality, I would say. So, Bob, do you have any special words of interest uh, to tell us about the millennial movement? Hello, Bob? Are you in there, Bob? Sorry, dude. Oh, Bob, no, Bob, Bob, 
You're not supposed to be a millennial. You're supposed to be demonstrating a millennial type person. Not actually being one. It's rad, bro. Embrace it. Welcome to the Midnight News, your 12 o'clock news. I'm Bob. And I'm Larry. Today we're going to be having a very interesting... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Welcome to the Midnight News, your 12 o'clock news. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Repeat out. Hello? Uh, yeah. Bob has been taken over by monkitis. Creeping terminal monkitis. It's a new disease going around. It's a rad disease, actually. Everybody wants to get it. But uh, you suddenly become a monk and your pupils disappear. Um, other things, other symptoms would be um, becoming fat. <laughs> Oh yeah. Welcome to the Midnight News, your 12 o'clock news. I'm Bob. Mm -hmm. And he's Larry. Got some interesting news. Why don't you tell us about it? But I always I always put a little bit of flat on my on my taco because that's the way to go. Very interesting, Bob. We'll come right back to you. I'm Bob. Welcome to Midnight News, your 12 o'clock news. I'm Bob. And I'm Larry. And we're going to have some interesting news for you today. Why don't you tell us about it? Well, um, I've I discovered something recently. I've been eating a lot of tacos, see? And, um, see, I've discovered a little bit of cyanide on your taco is the most amazing thing ever. You just sprinkle a little bit on, like, like so. And it, it really does add a lot of flavor. I will say, a lot of flavor. Tons of flavor. Best meal you will ever eat. Best, it, it will be, literally, it will be, you will never, you will never want to eat another meal after that ever again. It will fill you up for the rest of your life. It will fill you up for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it, it's to die for, really. It is to die for. Yeah. It really is. It, 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 This has been your Midnight News, your 12 o'clock news. I'm Bob and that was Larry. Welcome to the Midnight News, your 12 o'clock news. I'm Bob. And I'm Larry. Uh, or, or what's left of Larry? Well, what's left of Larry? Uh, turns out, well, turns out, the cyanide does not only increase the flavor of your food, it also does something else entirely. Turns out, it uh, cuts off your oxygen supply. So, they had to remove my head and pull out the cyanide and uh, put my head back on. But I didn't want a neck brace. Oh no, I did not want a neck brace. So they didn't give me a neck brace. Um, oh, the, the, they really said it wasn't that dangerous. The only side effect would be maybe minor uh, loss of brain cells. That would be herbivitive if that happened. But, you know, I hear many of them here, I mean, I hear many of them So, I'm really not sure if I really need any or not, you know? Very interesting report. We'll be back to you after this short commercial break. Welcome to the Midnight News, your 12 o'clock news. I'm Bob. And I'm Larry. We have a very interesting story tonight about Romans. Um, we actually have a prop here for this one. Scoot out of the way, Bob. Specifically about their diet from back in the early uh, Roman era. So, quite an interesting piece of uh, equipment here. This is actually a Roman armor, and this is an authentic piece of Roman armor. It's about 2,000 years old. Um, no, that's where we got it, we can't tell you. Now, the only, the only thing is, the metal has been replaced, but these leather straps here, those are original 2,000 year old leather straps. Or so we've been told. As we know, leather doesn't wear out. Metal wears out extremely fast, um, so we had to replace the metal about four times. But that's alright, because it's a nice replica. Did I say we'd exhausted it? Well, you know, the, the straps are authentic, so that counts, right? 
Um, so, we're, we're actually going to talk about, you may have noticed something. Um, let's just lift it up a little bit, Bob. Give him a bit of, see this here? You may have noticed that. Let's give him a side view there. Yeah, so that. Um, what is that? Well, that is actually the first, the very first pot belly. The, where the name came from is, uh, this belonged to a man named <coughs> Popsimus Maximus. Now, <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Now, Pot was uh, quite a, uh, uh, he was quite uh, muscular. As um, this was actually, this armor was fitted to mold his Yes, it, they poured molten steel on his body. Yes. How um, survived, we have no idea. But as we do know that Romans back then were particularly tough. They oh, were yes. very tough, oh, yes. but they were tough. Oh, yes. It was all the crumpets and tea. I, I, I'm, I'm sure about that. But so did they, when they, they uh, uh, actually... Ago, they, well, once they invaded England, they found out about crumpets and tea, and from there, I mean, just Rome stuff. Yes, around. but I mean, sails went up the roof. And actually, I do believe that the feathers they wore around their heads and the little dots here that actually gave them a lot of uh, extra strength in, in that area. Um, and the and the, the brown or you know red skin, as you might like to call it, the red. Some people call them red skins. They that actually probably gave them even more resistance um, to certain hot things like hot chocolate. Or hot metal, hot molten metal, hot tamales, hot tamales, hot tacos, hot, hot tacos, or hot um, hot, a hot day. You know, a hot day. Um, some people break down on a hot day. Where are we going with this, Bob? I I lost. I, the teleprompter died a few months ago. <laughs> what exactly yeah. did they eat? As you can see, you know the apps are pretty well defined, and so we've come to terms that. They've probably actually eaten hot dogs. Now we have dissected hot dogs, mm -hmm. and we found out it's very. And, and you can fire. see the correlation between the shape of a hot dog. It's incredible. Uh, yes, exactly. And and um, I actually do believe there's a French dish called definition, uh, and that is actually the French word for definition. And I know for a fact, absolute fact, that the Romans ate that dish. The archaeologist that we actually talked to, his name was Bartholomew Bartholomew. I know, a pretty interesting name, right? Yes, but his middle name is Fishbait, so that makes up for it. So as he was telling us, well, he actually found this for us, you know, digging around in the Roman areas around Czechoslovakia. But uh, he didn't find the metal, though. Yeah. Uh, that was completely disintegrated. He found, all he found were the leather strips, and we actually constructed it, we reconstructed it from, uh... Cat scans. Yes. Cat scans were Cat scans. amazing. No, I mean, veterinar veterinarians were very helpful in proceedings of this. Yes. But anyways, as you see, you know, we talked a little bit about the abs and how they were formed, but also about the belly. You know, people are kind of wondering, you know, this is the let's very give them a better first... view of this one. Yeah, yeah, let's do it again, I guess. Which way are we turning? This um, way? Yeah, let's, let's do one from this see, side. You can see the belly, you know, kind of protruding a little bit. Uh, figured out that we found out that Romans probably actually ate watermelons as a whole. They probably unhinged their jaws like a snake. <laughs> Welcome to the Midnight News, your 12 o'clock news. I'm Bob. And I'm Larry. Interesting news report to you. So there's a new workout program called TurboFire, and it's been proved that it actually is not very good for you, and it's actually quite dumb. <laughs> I moved my shit! Hello, welcome to the news. Welcome to the Midnight News, your 12 o'clock news. I'm Bob. And I'm Larry. We're here for a professional debate, a very professional and organized very organized debate about cats versus dogs. The original debate, the question, has been asked for a long time. Cats or dogs? That was the question, right? By the ancient Greek philosopher, philosopher uh, Platypus? <laughs> <laughs> Platypus Maximus Dirigidus the First. Uh, he was an ancient Roman warlord who turned philosopher, who turned who turned musician, who turned um, cake baker, who got sued by the LGBT community. <laughs> <laughs> and then was killed by ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was the question originally asked by Drake. <laughs> Bob, you've moved, I think. My seat fell down. Such a professional show. We are top notch. <laughs> 